So I've been thinking about how to handle my cashin for a tag team championship match. Again with this my thing. We both won the Money in the Bank ladder match, and we should both get a say in how to cash it in. What? Are we supposed to decide by committee? Hold a vote or something? That sounds fair. How's that gonna play out? I vote for my way and you vote for yours? Besides, holding the Money in the Bank briefcase isn't just about being skilled in the ring. It's about being sneaky too. Leveraging the briefcase to cash in when your opponents are off their game. I don't think you have that in you. When I was down on main event, you couldn't even take advantage of that opportunity. I can be sneaky. No, I can see it now. You walk up to the champs, politely tap them on the shoulders, and respectfully challenge them to a match. You're too much of a good girl, LJ. You need to be willing to play dirty. I can play dirty when I want to. Then prove it. Take someone out when they don't expect it. Then, you and I can negotiate how we cash in the briefcase. Fine, I'll do it. Not that I have anything to prove. That's not Lacey's music, and that's not Lacey Evans. This isn't the scheduled match. Does anyone know what the issue is between these two superstars? Who knows, but the referee is turning this into a match. It's official, Shotzi's scheduled match against Lacey Evans has been replaced by a match against the Insurgent Rookie. Apparently, one half of the briefcase holding pair already has a little more swagger in her step after that thrilling tag team Money in the Bank victory. And let me tell you, I'm digging it. Dog snap suplex so quick. She's taking some big hits here. She can withstand the punishment though. Ooh, dropped right on their face. Ooh, kick right to the gut. Shotzi with the retaliation. Oh, I missed you. I wanted to knee you in the face again. Ooh, what a forearm club. She got launched. Telling her opponent that she has even more left in her tank. She heads out of the ring. Interesting strategy. Whoa. Just driven into the mat. She hit the corner hard. <laughs> Another oh, one for good measure. Agility like that. Easier said than done, gentlemen. Oh, man, just punishing. She's lost some of that energy she had earlier. Yeah, but you can't count anyone out yet. This match could still go either way. Kidneys. Golly. Shotzi isn't being given any room to recover. Shotzi has run into a roadblock. Strong kick to the body. Down goes their opponent. And this is the sort of ruthlessness it takes. I love this. There was no issue with that attack. Hey, sometimes desperate times call for desperate measures. Who are we to judge? Adding a level of insult with that kind of physicality. And that was a stiff chain of strikes there. Incoming! Ooh, what a moonsault! Hoisting their opponent back to their feet. She's got her where she wants her! Retaliated with a head-turning clothesline. Kick to the gut, create. Finds the roll up and the rope saber there. Goes down low. What are we about to see here? A cross like a DDT. That's got to be it. Two. No, she kicks out. What does she have to do to put her away? I'm asking myself the same question. I have no idea. Just 
just a continuous rush on Shotzi here. Destructive amount of work being done to Shotzi right now. Set up in the corner of the ring. Now, this is a textbook example of how to bend the rules. Using the forearm to their advantage. Shotzi's found a new source of aggression to battle back with. Down with a face buster. Ah, oh, Shotzi. Slice bread number two. Is it up? The cover. She kicked out there, but I don't know how much more she can take. And Shotzi didn't see that coming. Strong kick to the body. Down goes their opponent. And this is the sort of ruthlessness it takes. Look at this. Nice go behind. Up across the shoulder. Into the gory bomb. Can Shotzi come back from that? That's got to be it. Two. And that's all for Shiro. Here is your winner. And wrestle perhaps the perfect match. Never any doubt in this win. An absolute statement by the victor here tonight. What a steamrolling. now see i can be surprising i don't have to always play by the book the apology on social media after the fact really drove home how much of a threat you are i just wanted her to know i didn't have anything against her i did what you asked so let's figure out this cash in fine i've got to head out now but get your lame thoughts in order and we'll talk about it next week Ugh, you're the worst
Get ready for one of WWE's most eye-popping athletes. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Newcastle upon Tyne, England, L. Blessed with natural ability and her aunt's guidance, the sky's the limit for this superstar. Guidance is well and good, but you've got to be willing to take charge of your own career or you'll wake up one day and wonder where it went. This is a woman ready to do some damage. I'm so excited because here comes the TCB tank. And from Oakland, California, Shotzi. Well, Shotzi had a long and arduous road to get to WWE, but now she's enjoying herself. Oh, any road's going to be long if you're driving a tank that slowly. Hey guys, I've been practicing this. Let me know what you think. <clears throat> that wouldn't have scared off a mailman. Is she a rooster? Uh, you don't get it. The red hot rivalry between Shotzi and her opponent is about to get the temperature turned up another notch here on SmackDown. These two have already thrown the rule book out of the window, so what better way to settle things than a no disqualification match? Bring on the chaos. Shoulder tackle after shoulder tackle. What goes up must come down, and it sure as hell did right there. Penny predicament, and she gets the shoulders up. She's trying to drain some energy with that early cover. <laughs> and a drop kick. Picture perfect. And Shotzi is being taken apart here. Yeah, Shotzi fight from the top. Oh, God, that, that, that's a bad landing. A completely ill-advised decision. Likely going to pay for it in the rest of this match. Oh. They back up. They're they're getting too close for comfort. Oh, no one's paying attention to you, Saxon. They're too busy beating the tar out of each other. Taking it to the floor. What's she gonna do? And clearly stooping low with that attack. Now that was a very questionable attack. I don't think it goes beyond any gray area. What a sidewalk slam. Squaring off right by our announce table. She's getting something from under the ring. There's no crying in baseball, gentlemen, but finding yourself on the receiving end of that bat might tell a different story. And she slides her back to the mat. Bringing a steel chair into play here. Look at this kicking combination. She's taking this outside. This one cannot be lost by countout. Springboard! She oh, onto the floor. That was an absolutely haphazard, uncalculated risk. And I have no 
doubt they're going to pay dearly for it. There are plenty of ways battling this area can end in serious harm. Suplexes, slams, and bombs are all painful, but being slapped like that is humiliating. You would know, Saxton. Watch out, taking this fight into the seats. Looking for something, anything under the ring. A stop sign. Was there some road work going on that I didn't know about? Oh, no mercy behind that forearm. Taking the fight near our announce table. I really hope we get these desks at a discount. Toss back into the ring. He's going under the ring now. Guess she was looking for her old pal named Kendo under there. Enable to counter. Could be a sign of Shotzi turning her fortunes around. This press. And did you hear the impact of that? Could be some collateral damage on the way here. Everyone needs to clear out, including us. Oh, I took off the, uh, the hood of the announce table on the of the monitors. Bad intentions in mind here. Come on, Byron, get in front of me. No. She turns it right around with a counter. Oh, look at this. I don't want to be part of these problems. Don't want to be part of this crowd. Oh, man. Gentlemen, in the interest of self-preservation, I may have to excuse myself. Saxton, you hang tight. Let this play out. Whatever you can do, I can do better. Counters on top of counters. Oh, sidewalk slam. <laughs> Clearly hoping something nefarious is beneath the ring. And she's wasting no time kicking things up by bringing this chair into play. Oh, God. We might be close to the end. Yeah, she's looking drained, Cole. I don't know how much is even left in her. And we might be about to go from commentators to participants in this one, fellas. Look at this kicking combination. Everyone get out of the way. These two are abandoning all restraints. Uh-oh, positioning her opponent on the announce desk. There's the swing. Swinging side slam. This is ridiculous. Is this a match or a demolition derby? Judging by the destruction around us, it might be both. We're seeing the same aggression here that we saw during that pre-match attack last week. It's Raquel Rodriguez. Apparently, she's not a fan of how Shotzi was used to prove a point. Raquel and Shotzi haven't always seen eye to eye, but these two came up together in NXT. I guess that counts for something. Either that or she just wanted in on the fun of this no DQ match. All this is perfectly legal. And so was that. Ava Marino from behind. This team may not have cashed it in yet, but that briefcase is proving to be pretty handy. Shotzi with a roll up. Ava slides the briefcase in, and she nails Shotzi. Looking to capitalize. She got the win. I guess the briefcase did turn out to be the determining factor in this match. And some teamwork, too. Something that we haven't seen yet from this pairing. They may not have chosen each other initially, but maybe this tag team does have what it takes to make good on the promise of that Money in the Bank briefcase. That was unexpected. You defending me in the ring? Certainly was. I was talking about Raquel. We're tag team partners. It's not like I don't like you. You have literally told me before that you don't like me, Ava. Fair point. But I didn't know you. You were just some new girl coming in to take my spot. 
I wasn't trying to take anyone's spot. I was trying to start my career. Sure. But your journey to WWE was very different than mine. You started with the WWE legend in the family. Your support system was in the business already. You even knew some of the crew. I had none of that. Things have always been harder for me, and it was difficult seeing you get an opportunity right off the bat. <laughs> Did it help that I crashed and burned in my debut? <laughs> it certainly did not hurt. I can't control what family I was born into any more than you can. We're bound to have different perspectives and experiences. You're right. Probably explains why I find some of the stuff you do so annoying. You know, besides just the fact that you're the entitled niece of a legend. <laughs> you're just kind of mean generally, huh? See? Now we're really getting to know each other. Which is actually a good thing if we're going to work together on this cash-in. Let's finally have that talk and figure out how we're going to do it. Speaking of... Ava, where's the briefcase? I thought you had it. No, I don't. You don't know where it is? I do not. Well, this is not great. We need you to go to Shotzi and Raquel and tell them to give our briefcase back. They're not listening to us. Hate to say it, guys, but WWE briefcase law has always been pretty vague. I'm not sure if possession is nine-tenths of the law, but it's certainly a fractional value of some sort. But they stole it from us! Stole it! Ava, I'd expect you of all people to understand a bit of deviousness, but both of you save your breath. A decision has already been made. WWE management has decreed that you'll face them for the briefcase in a match next week. That's not fair, Molly. Didn't say it was, but that's what's happening. Then we're going to use everything at our disposal to make sure they never try anything like this ever again. It's the second generation superstar who's here to write her own story. The following contest is a tag team match set for one fall. Introducing first from Newcastle upon Tyne, England, L. For a young second generation superstar like this, each match isn't just a battle against her opponent, it's a battle to create her own legacy. She's got all the tools, Corey. Now we get to see what she does with them. This superstar looks ready to make a statement. and fearless, it's Ava Moreno and her partner from the Bronx, New York, Ava Moreno. The feeling, the electricity in the arena right now is unlike anything I've ever felt in quite some time. This match is going to be good. Ava looks ready to make the most out of this opportunity. 
Raquel Rodriguez, a massive presence in the women's division. And from Rio Grande Valley, Texas, Raquel Rodriguez. And NXT Rodriguez won the first ever Women's Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Let's Classic go. with the first ever Let's NXT go. Women's Tag Team Champions. Well, Cole, you can bet Raquel has some more firsts in store for the main roster. spectacular physique of this woman. A back so big, you could drive your car up to it and watch a movie on it. Gotta find out what a workout plan is like. Harder than yours, Saxton, harder than yours. I'm so excited because here comes the TCB tag. road to get to WWE, but now she's enjoying herself. Oh, any road's gonna be long if you're driving a tank that slowly. Not afraid to fight, knows how to survive. And she's pretty fun to watch inside the ring, too. After a shocking turn of events, Ava Moreno and her partner's Money in the Bank briefcase is back up in the air tonight against Shotzi and Raquel Rodriguez. Well, it's not technically in the air because its new owners, Shotzi and Raquel, have refused to disclose its whereabouts. Although I guess it, it could be in the air somewhere. Thanks, Saxton. You should have been a detective. Reversal from Raquel. And both athletes showing that they have each other's number. Clearly no love lost between these two with a display like that. She hit the corner hard. Boom! Did you hear the impact? Just using their foot as a weapon. So ruthless. Oh, man, by the hair. Hair whip. Not the prettiest thing you'll ever see, but it sure looks effective from here. Raquel's confidence. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Plucked into the air. Sidewalk slam. Tag made. Frankensteiner. Ooh, oh, what a punch. That's how you stop your opponent. Uh-oh. 
Uh, Shotzi caught by the counter. And now dropping the bombs. Shotzi and Raquel. What's Shotzi doing? It's the stolen Money in the Bank briefcase. It said it was in a safe place. I guess the safe place was under the ring, Byron. The original briefcase winner counters. She's the one who's taking advantage of the referee distraction now. One, two, three. This match is over. Well, it's over, but that's probably not the ending Shotzi and Raquel had in mind. And the ownership of the Money in the Bank briefcase is officially returned to the original winners. Hopefully now they can put this behind them and officially set their sights on cashing in for the Tag Team Championships. And at the very least, I bet they'll keep better track of the briefcase from now on. 